Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing the play of the day today here on a Monday, which is, guess what? It's a hotel. It's host hotels and something-something resorts. It, it, it actually was a beautiful call, and I said 15.60 for the target. It dropped a little bit past that. Looks like it's on its way to 15.50. I'm done, though. It's 10.30. You could have been out of this like 15 minutes ago or thereabouts. If you've got the patience to stay with it, see if you can get it down to 15. The next number is 1530, actually. If it breaks 1550, the next number is 1530. Is anybody still in this yet? Tr New Jersey trader booked under $1,000 in HST. Nice call. Yeah. And and this is something, here, let's just go over it. Journey Woman's still in it. Wow. This is one of these ones where, I mean, something just falls into your lap, you do it. And what do I mean by fall into your lap? A, the gap was good. B, the entry was nice. C, it had 17 places to take more. D, the stop was good. Some of you are saying it was a snail, but you know what? I'm not going to complain about that. We still have the trade and made the money in the morning. It's only 1030. You people are spoiled. <laughs> I mean, you're like, you're spoiled. Be happy. It's a Monday. It was a nice call. And what was nice about it? The risk to reward. And I will tell you, that one of the things that I do extremely well is staying with the trade and knowing when it's good, even when you think it's not. And that actually happened here. If, if I mean, actually, here, let's pretend this isn't here. Before I go over what we did, oh, this is screwed up here. Uh, this thing. Hold on. Oh, this is just so screwed up. Uh, of this of this thing here of the initial I can't I can't I can't switch it off because this is so screwed up but when you open when this opened and rallied okay here's where we shorted it but then it came in and if you're watching this and you're watching this you see it start to rally more then you see it hold and it does a higher low and then it does a higher high. And if you don't know how to read the gap, you're thinking now this isn't going to work as a short. And you might even kill the short and buy it. And, you know, this is what a lot of people do. They were trying to buy it into support on the daily chart. And that's why this thing happens. And I'm telling you to short more in here. Great call by me. And how did I know to do this? Because the gap. Because of the gap, which we'll go over in a minute. But even some of you were like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It opened up the number and it didn't break the number. And I said, no, it's good. So without my directive, I'm not sure if all of you would have, A, taken more, or B, stayed with the trade in here when this situation happened. You had to stay with it for 15 minutes before it broke. And everyone was complaining it was a snail, but actually I thought it was good. I did take more a second time. You had a lot of time to take more in here, though. And we were very conservative. Someone asked me why I put the stop where I did because of the spread, because this had a spread. This had a spread of 10 cents at some point in here in the morning, and I wanted to cover it with a cushion. And that's why. This is even going past the target I gave. I said 1560, went down and broke 1560, and now it's on its way down to 1550, but I like to trade the afternoon. I'm not still in it. But I don't like to trade the afternoon, is what I'm saying. So I'm not still in it. I only like to trade the morning. But this was a great call by me for so many reasons. One, because the gap didn't break hard. It still was good. I stayed with the trade. It took a while to go. I did the ad. I kept telling people to take more. The market was falling, and this was holding. Don't forget. Market was falling, falling, falling in the morning, and this hadn't broken the low till very late, and looked like it was holding and going to poop over the high. And I said, stay with it. This was a nice call. And some of you had a comma day on a, on a bar that looks like a baby. The bar looks like a snail. It's like a baby bar. Like there's nearly no red in it, but we caught it at the right place. And it just goes to show you it's, it's all about the skill set, and I just nailed it here today. Made $250, made this month's room fee. Yes, you did. You got out of 1561, good. Journey Woman's still in it. Is she the only one? A trader gal's still in it too. Well, 1530, if it breaks 50, follow it, follow it, follow it. I think at 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you got to watch. Let this 15-minute bar close, 1045 to 11 trade out. You really got to watch 11 o'clock. Oh, Beanie's still in it too. Okay. So, again, it goes back to the gap reading because the here it is. Wow, look at this. I might cry if it goes to $15, but then I won't anyways because of the fact that it's not going to go to $15 here by lunch. I have so much to do today. It's not even funny. And also, 
I'm just thrilled that we had such a nice trade on a Monday because that like is very rare. But this is selling off here now. So this is selling. That's what you're getting here. This is a nice selling action. So it took a while to get going. It was good. We stayed with it. But I, but this is, you know, this is why you people are here with me because of the fact that many, many traders would look at this to buy it into support. The gap didn't break hard. The market was falling. The stock hadn't broken the low. 15 minutes into the open, the stock is making higher highs and higher lows. It looks like it's doing a buy setup, but I'm directing you what to do based on what? The gap rating and analysis and the numbers. And the beautiful thing about this was that every number in this actually made sense. And I even double, triple checked myself as we're in it and we're waiting for it to break. I said, wait a minute, there's something here that I missed. And I went back and I looked and said, oh, there it is. That's why that thing is trying to go and trying to go. But I knew it would break it. I knew it would break the area and it did. Why? Because of the gap. Because of the gap. It was thin in the morning, thin into the open. The volume came in by the time that we did it. It definitely has volume in it now. Be careful here. It did not break 50 yet though. 52. I, I really would be out of this. I, I really, honestly, in my professional opinion, would be out of this. This could rally all the way back and set up again in a five or 15 minute at one o'clock this afternoon if you really want to trade in a Monday afternoon, but I really would be out of it. So great call here by me in the Stock Swoosh Show live trading room. Nice way to start out the week on a week that is going to be hit or miss as far as picks because it's not earning season. There's a couple big names out this week, but there's not a lot. And we have to be so picker, so picker poo. Tomorrow, if I don't get something as good as this, I'm not doing anything. So it's just one of these things that we just have to watch. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in more information, the next GAP class is October 17th and 18th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a good day, everyone.